On December 22, 2025, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries celebrated a landmark event at its Nagasaki shipyard, the naming and launching of JS Yoshi, the 12th and final vessel in Japan's Mogami-class frigate program. This ceremony marked the culmination of a multi-year endeavor to modernize Japan's surface fleet, closing the chapter on the initial batch of multi-mission frigates and signaling the transition to outfitting, system integration, and rigorous sea trials, all leading up to its planned commissioning in fiscal year 2027. Attended by senior defense officials, industrial representatives, and approximately 200 guests, the launch underscored the strategic and industrial importance of the Mogami class within Japan's naval modernization program and the country's broader regional security objectives. With the completion of the hull, JS Yoshi is now poised to enter the final stages of preparation before joining the Maritime Self-Defense Force, ready to perform a wide range of missions spanning surveillance, defense, and combat operations. The JS Yoshi, assigned the pennant number FFM-12, represents the final realization of Japan's initial Mogami-class vision. This series, also known as the FFM class, was conceived in response to emerging regional maritime threats and the need for smaller, highly automated, multi-mission capable frigates that could balance firepower, survivability, and operational efficiency. Construction of the Yoshi and 10 of the 12 hulls overall was led by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, solidifying its central role in Japanese shipbuilding and defense technology. The completion of the 12th hull also sets the stage for the transition toward the new FFM class, an upgraded series designed with enhanced systems and capabilities, some of which have been adopted by Australia for its own naval modernization program, highlighting the international relevance and adaptability of the Mogami class design. Measuring 133 meters in length with a 16.3 meter beam and a hull depth of roughly 9 meters, the JS Yoshi displaces approximately 3,900 tons. Despite its relatively compact size compared with older Japanese escort vessels, the ship integrates advanced automation, sensor fusion, and integrated combat systems, allowing it to operate effectively with a crew of roughly 90 personnel. This represents a deliberate reduction in manpower requirements compared with earlier frigates such as the Abukuma class or Asagiri class, while maintaining high operational efficiency and survivability in complex maritime environments. The ship's hull and superstructure are designed with low observable features to reduce radar cross-section and enhance stealth, reflecting Japan's focus on reducing detectability in both peacetime patrols and high-intensity combat scenarios. The Mogami class, including JS Yoshi, is designed to operate as a true multi-mission platform. Its capabilities span anti-submarine warfare, anti-air defense, anti-surface operations, mine warfare, surveillance, and maritime security. By integrating these diverse roles into a single hull, the class reduces reliance on specialized vessels while maximizing operational flexibility. This allows the Maritime Self-Defense Force to deploy highly capable ships capable of persistent patrolling, rapid response, and high-end combat engagement, all while maintaining cost-effectiveness and operational efficiency. The JS Yoshi exemplifies this philosophy, balancing advanced technology with practical design choices to deliver a versatile and potent platform. Propulsion is provided by a combined diesel and gas or Kodak arrangement that produces approximately 70,000 horsepower. Diesel engines support long-range, fuel-efficient cruising, while gas turbines provide the high-speed capability needed for rapid maneuvering, tactical repositioning, or pursuit of high-value targets. The ship can achieve speeds of up to 30 knots, or roughly 55 kilometers per hour, allowing it to operate alongside larger fleet units, respond quickly to emergent threats, and maintain operational endurance over extended deployments. The Kodak configuration represents a careful balance between efficiency and performance, ensuring that the JS Yoshi can sustain operational readiness while retaining the flexibility to engage in rapid, high-intensity operations when necessary.
Central to the Mogami class's effectiveness is its integrated combat system, which unifies data from multiple sensors, fire control networks, and communications platforms to provide real-time situational awareness and engagement capabilities. This system allows the ship to detect, track, and engage multiple threats simultaneously across air, surface, and subsurface domains. The integration of these systems ensures that the vessel operates as a cohesive and responsive combat unit, capable of supporting fleet operations, conducting independent missions, and reacting to evolving tactical scenarios with speed and precision. The JS Yoshi's armament is comprehensive and balanced to address a spectrum of threats. Its primary air defense capability is provided by a 16-cell Mark 41 vertical launching system, which can deploy surface-to-air missiles to intercept aircraft and incoming projectiles at medium to long ranges. Surface strike capability is enabled by a Mark 45 Mod 4 62 caliber 5 inch naval gun, offering both offensive and defensive utility against ships and shore targets. Anti ship capabilities are further reinforced by two quadruple Type 17 missile launchers, while two triple torpedo tubes provide subsurface engagement options against submarines and other underwater threats. Close-in air defense is supported by a C-RAM system equipped with 11 interceptors, and additional protection is provided by two 12.7mm remote-controlled machine guns. A flight deck and hangar can accommodate a single Mitsubishi SH-60L patrol helicopter, dramatically extending the vessel's surveillance, reconnaissance, and anti-submarine reach. This combination of offensive and defensive systems ensures that the JS Yoshi can operate independently or as a part of a larger task group capable of addressing threats across multiple domains. Mine warfare is another critical element of the Mogami class's versatility. Unlike previous approaches that relied solely on specialized mine countermeasure vessels, the JS Yoshi incorporates advanced mine detection, classification, and avoidance systems directly into the frigate's design. The onboard mine countermeasure sonar allows detection of moored and bottom mines, while onboard systems can guide autonomous vehicles to investigate or neutralize threats in hazardous areas. The vessel can also deploy mines strategically, enabling area denial operations and defensive minefield establishment. By integrating these capabilities, the Mogami class enhances Japan's ability to maintain control over key maritime approaches while reducing the logistical footprint traditionally associated with mine warfare. Supporting these functions are autonomous platforms such as the OZZ-5 unmanned underwater vehicle, capable of carrying sensors and effectors into high-risk zones. These unmanned systems extend the ship's operational reach, allowing safe reconnaissance, threat detection, and neutralization without exposing personnel to danger. Planned future upgrades include the addition of variable depth sonar and towed array sonar systems, which will further enhance the ship's ability to detect submarines and other underwater threats across varying thermal and acoustic layers, ensuring Japan retains technological superiority in undersea warfare. Strategically, the JS Yoshi represents a decisive step in Japan's naval modernization, combining automation, multi-domain combat capability, and versatility in a single hull. By blending traditional roles, air defense, anti-surface, anti-submarine, with mine warfare and unmanned systems integration, the ship maximizes operational utility while maintaining a compact, efficient platform. This philosophy reduces the need for specialized vessels, increases fleet flexibility, and ensures that Japan's surface combatants can meet a wide spectrum of mission requirements, from routine patrols to high-end naval engagements in contested waters. The name Yoshi continues the Mogami-class tradition of naming ships after Japanese rivers, honoring the Yoshi River in Okayama province. This marks the first use of the name Yoshi in the Maritime Self-Defense Force, and it is the first time a Mogami-class vessel has been named after a river from the Chigoku region. Alongside JS Tatsuda, the 11th ship in the class, the Yoshi completes the original 12-ship program. The combined cost of constructing these final two hulls was approximately 116.6 billion yen, a significant investment that underscores Japan's commitment to modernizing its maritime capabilities and ensuring operational readiness across its fleet.
as J.S. Yoshi progresses through outfitting, harbor trials, and comprehensive sea trials, it will be assigned to a newly established patrol and defense group. Once commissioned, the frigate will be capable of performing independent operations, fleet support, maritime surveillance, and high-intensity combat missions. With the launch of the 12th ship, Japan now stands ready to transition toward the new FFM class, a follow-on program designed to integrate the latest technologies, enhance operational reach, and address lessons learned from the initial fleet. This evolution not only strengthens Japan's maritime defense, but also reinforces its role as a capable, technologically advanced player in regional security architecture. The JS Yoshi and the broader Mogami class program also carry international significance. The upgraded design has been adopted by Australia, reflecting the platform's flexibility, multi-mission capability, and potential for allied cooperation. This opens doors for interoperability, joint training, and coordinated operations, reinforcing regional security while highlighting